Hi everyone, good news, I have fixed, can I say that? I don't know, I, it's not fixed, but I found, I found it, I found it. So I worked out, I work, I, I've done it. I've done, I am smarter than everyone at Hyundai. I'm gonna let that sink in for a bit. I'll tell you what I think's happened here. And that is, is that Hyundai has spent a lot of money on marketing for the i30 to say that it has wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and it's not working and they don't want to back paddle. But I found it. I have found a workaround, everyone, and it involves this thing here. I've worked out how to go back into wired Apple CarPlay. So why lie to us, Hyundai? I'm very disappointed. Not happy. Not happy, Hyundai, because you're telling people that you can't go back to wired, wired, wired Apple CarPlay, and you're lying. You're lying to everyone. I don't know why you're lying. Like, I, I think most people just want it working. They don't actually care if it's wired or not wired. Whatever. Moving on. Anyway, here's the workaround for the full sequence of how to get your uh, wireless Apple CarPlay on the Hyundai i30. I can't speak for any other cars, but I'm certain. If your entertainment system looks similar to mine, that it's gonna be the same uh, process or similar process. But anyway, here we go. Okay, let's do this thing, here we go. So, here's my system, the car is on. I hit the settings button. And then I go into general. And then here, you have to do the sequence to get into the engineering mode which is five taps here one tap here like gotta be really 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 careful one two three four five one no let's try again one two three four five one there you go got it the code for me here in australia two four zero zero okay and i'm in engineering mode see it's amazing engineering mode surely i could have been talked through how to do this anyway moving on variant coding right there variant coding the code this time is 1200, 1200, half of 2400. Okay, and then in here you got CPU variant, right there, you just tap on that. And as you can see, mine is in con CPU config four. So I actually worked out that config three works, but it's on the N line. And uh, so what happens is that there's the, the N line dialog comes up as well. So if I push the star button, it actually brings up like the, like a, like a, a picture of a N line i30 or an N i30. I don't know which one doesn't matter. Uh, but I found now that I've tried config four, that CPU config four actually it doesn't do that. So it just goes back and reverts back to wired. And oh, I'm gonna just like that. It's simple wired. That's it. And uh, all you have to do then is click apply, just like that. Do you want to reset the system? Yes, you do. Everything will be wiped. And you just wait a little while, the Hyundai logo will pop up. There you go. The radio's reset, so you can hear it. Be quiet radio. Yep, everything, everything's the same. It's just reverts to like an older, I'm assuming, an older system. Okay, config drive, like something like 31 different CPU config um, options. But, uh, and some of the other ones I tried later down the line didn't work, but uh, anyway, this one works. There you go, and then all you gotta do is plug it in. I don't know if I plug it in now, if it's gonna work. Let me try it. But what will happen is you'll get that instant message up here. So I'm gonna plug it in. Let's see what happens. Come on, is it gonna work? There you go, there you go, it's working. Reading USB device and I'm on. Ta-da! How good's that? Oh. It's, and it's amazing. It works perfect. And it's just so... Oh, I'm so happy that I found this workaround. Okay, so there you go. Surely someone at Hyundai Australia knows about, about this engineering mode. Like, come on. Seriously. And if they don't... Well, I'm here, everyone. Uh, uh, I work for 100000 a year. Like, I'm here at Hyundai. I'm here. Queensland. Happy to work for you right there. Here's what they should have said to us is, Dear i30 customer, we are deeply, deeply sorry and apologize for selling you a brand new car with this problem. What we can do for you is to revert your car back to wired until we find a solution. And uh, that's it. That's all I have to say. Everyone would have been happy. Just like, 
I'm happy. I'm happy wide. I really don't care. And I'm certain that most people who have this issue do not actually care whether it's wide or not wide. You need to charge your phone anyway. So it's like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, why would they not just do this? And now in other news, it appears that they may have finally fixed it with another uh, uh, upgrade onto the system, which is another lie that Hyundai was telling us, which is that, oh, it's Apple's fault and not Hyundai's fault, uh, and which is total rubbish, obviously. So it, uh, they've released another um, update to the entertainment unit, not Apple, entertainment unit, and apparently may have fixed the problem. So if, if that's the case, they lied to us about that as well. So I'm here to tell you, you just saw it. It works on the wired. How good is that? And apparently if you take your car in for your next service, whenever that will be, they will give you that update. It's a September 2021 um, update version and that should fix it. And now, Hyundai, can I just say, this i30 is now complete. It's, it's, it's now complete. I, l I really, really, really enjoy this car. Um, and there's, there's now nothing wrong with it. And, and it's great, it's amazing. Why muck around not letting people have their wide uh, car play back? I don't understand. All right, so enough about that. I hope I've helped you out uh, with yours if you've had the issue. I know there's been a whole bunch of frustrated people around the world. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's over everyone, it's over. Until the next video, bye.